Hey guys, Mark here. Welcome back to the channel. Um, kind of wanting to do this for a little bit. I feel like uh, in order for you to really understand where I'm going with this channel and what I'm doing, really need to take a peek back into uh, into my upbringing and see where this obsession came from. Uh, before boats, it uh, it was cars and motorcycles and pretty much anything that um, that you could drag race. So I dug into the archives and I found some old videos and some old pictures and put a little bit of a collage together and um, that maybe kind of tells my story and like I say maybe gives a better understanding of what I'm doing or where I'm going with this so anyways enjoy Ever since I can remember, I've been obsessed with drag racing. My dad took me to my first street race when I was just eight years old, and it was the coolest thing that I had ever seen. From that day forward, all I ever wanted to do was go to the shop with him and work. Saturdays, weekends, I just had to be around cars, around motors. I was obsessed with it. I wasn't very good in school, but I was good at that stuff. My dad bought the Vega from a wrecking yard when I was really young. We put a small block Chevy in it. It was real budget built, but it was super cool. We raced that car everywhere. Christina and I had an old 84 Dodge Ram pickup. It was a piece of shit with a cap on it and an open trailer, but we went to every race there was. Anything to do with the street scene, small tire stuff, we were there. We spent every dollar that we had and money that we didn't have. The cars got faster, more competitive, but the objective was still the same. Just wanted to go as fast as I possibly could. My parents bought an old Winnebago so that they could join us. It was super cool. We made it a real family affair. Every race there was, we were at. Things got pretty competitive with the Mustang. I started to race pro stock. I would bought a 358 cubic inch blade valve motor from Rick Moroso. It was like 850 horsepower. The car worked really, really good. I didn't do so swell with that car. It was a super competitive class pro stock. But I didn't care, I just wanted to race heads up. I'd put valve springs in it every eight passes. On the intake side that is. It had over one inch of valve lift. But needless to say it broke a lot. We broke engines, we broke transmissions, we broke torque converters, we broke rear ends. But I didn't care, I worked day and night to get it fixed, to have money to fix it, to be at the next race. It was all that I wanted to do. But I started to get bored. I started an obsession with motorcycles. The thrill of going fast on a motorcycle was something I'd never experienced before like that. Even when they were slower than a car, they just felt way faster. I was obsessed. I didn't know what fear was. I didn't care. It did, I was not scared ever. I just wanted to go as fast as humanly possible. I got to ride a lot of bikes. A lot of them that I didn't own. Stock wheelbase bikes, long bikes, short bikes, nitrous bikes, all motor bikes. Didn't matter. ZX14s, Hayabusa's, 1000s. I just loved it. I did really, really well. The bike scene was huge in Ontario at that time, so it was super fun. There was always lots of guys racing. We had a blast. Lots of smack talk. But some of the best friends in my life I made there. I wouldn't change it for the world. It was awesome. I'm sure my parents thought I was thought I had a death wish. My mom hated it. 
hated it. She wouldn't watch. I'm sure my dad wasn't big on it, but he was super supportive. He, he just knew that that's who I was, that that's what I was going to do. He was awesome. We raced everywhere that there was a race. We always tried our best. And in that game, I was spending money that I didn't have. I was consumed by it. But I wouldn't trade it for the world. The highs are high and the lows are low. But it just consumes you. It's what you want to do. We won a lot of races. And we lost a lot of races. Then came King of the Street. King of the Street was the baddest, fastest, no bar bikes in the country, bar none. And I just had to have one. Sean Gaduris and I teamed up, built a nitrous Hayabusa. I was obsessed with setting a record. I didn't even care about winning races anymore. We had won a lot of races. I just wanted to set a record. I'd always wanted a record. We worked super hard. We won a ton of races. We missed a championship by one point on a technicality, but I didn't care. Just wanted that record. And in July of 2015, we did it. We set the record in King of the Street with a 783, a record that still stands today. Everything I had ever wanted in life, I had just accomplished. So proud of that moment. So incredibly proud. It was that moment that I knew anything that I set my mind to, I could accomplish. Then I found this. This is my new drug. This is my obsession. So that leads to here. Fall of uh, 2018, I met Greg Keeling, who unbeknownst to me at the time, uh, lived three minutes from my house. And um, I walked into his shop and saw his Allison XR01. And everything changed for me from that moment on. Um, as obsessed as I've always been with drag racing, with cars, with bikes and stuff, I, I saw that boat and I was instantly, instantly hooked. I I didn't know that that existed here. Um, and something, I, I don't know how to explain it, something triggered and I just, I had to have one, not necessarily an Allison, but I had to have a race boat. Um, within a week of that day, I owned my current STV and that's what started this, this whole program. And I don't know where it's going from now and, or for now. Um, I don't know, but I know that I'm obsessed, obsessed with it. It's all that consumes me from day and night. I could think about boats, racing boats, how to go faster, how to be more efficient. All I want to do is work on boats, build boats, design boats. It, it, it consumes me. I don't know if that's healthy or not, but anyways, racing's got me this far, so... So, this channel will continue to promote outboard drag boat racing, follow along in my family's quest to do what we do, um, and continue to chase this, this passion, this dream, on all levels. Um, again, we're going to be doing a bunch more with Grace, with building a car, and that's super cool. That's the direction she wants to go, and I'm super excited about that. So, um, But we just race, and it's what we do, and... Anyways, I uh, I put this together. Hope it um, hope it lends a better understanding to who I am and where I come from. And I I, I really appreciate the support. Um, I'm looking to, forward to uh, to build this channel and this brand. And um, and it's it's really what I want to do. So thank you for the support. Like, share. Be sure to comment. Follow me on Instagram. 
follow me on Facebook, share with your friends, and uh, let's see if we can build the sport back up to, uh, to what it deserves to be.